Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Welcome to GBN Bible Trivia. Hello and welcome to GBN Bible Trivia. I'm your host, David Motes. And remember, GBN Bible Trivia is where the questions come straight from the Bible, and so do the answers. We have our three contestants today, Timothy Boswell from Alaska, we have Macy Blackwell from South Carolina, and Amos Parrish from Texas. Our contestants come all over the United States. Hey, Timothy, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Well, uh, I come from Fairbanks, Alaska, and uh, I actually just got back from a trip from there. We have salmon runs every year. It's pretty fun, so a little bit of a rugged, outdoorsy kind of guy. Well, awesome. Now, Macy, what about you? Um, I'm from South Carolina, and I am a student at Freed Hardman University, and I am majoring in English. All right, and Amos? I am Amos Parrish. I am currently attending Oklahoma Christian University and studying computer science with gaming and animation. Awesome. All right, well, let me go through the rules. They're very simple. Uh, first, we have determined that Macy Black will go first. Uh, we have the questions that are worth between 1 and 10 points. So all you have to do is ask for a question between 1, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 10 points. Uh, the contestants will, have, uh, will say that they want a 1 question or a 10 question or anywhere between. Uh, I will read the question, and whenever I'm finished, uh, the contestants will have an opportunity to raise their paddles to see if they can get the uh, question right. Um, if they happen to miss the question, uh, first one to picks up their paddle and misses a question, you have an opportunity to uh, take the question. Uh, the other two contestants have an opportunity to take the question, and then that way they can uh, try to get those points. Now, the two uh, contestants with the most points after the first round will move on to the second round. And the second round will only be asked five questions, and whoever has the highest points at the very end of that will win and have an opportunity to appear on the next GBM Bible Trivia. All right, contestants, are you ready to go? All right, Macy, what would your first question be? Um, I'd like a three-point question. Three-point question. All right, where did the name Exodus come from, and what does it mean? I think, uh, I think Amos got it. Hmm. The name Exodus means going out, um, symbolizing the Israelites going out from Egypt. And I guess it comes from the Hebrew language. All right. It does mean going out. Uh, that is correct. So Amos will have three points. Mm. All right. Amos, what will your next question be? Let's try a five-point question. Five-point question. All right. A five-point question. The first one is a bonus question. And a bonus question means that you can uh, have an opportunity to get all ten questions, or all you can get opportunity to get ten points. Mm -hmm. So the question is: list the excuses made by Moses, and if you can list them in order from whenever the first excuse he gave to, you know, the last excuse he gave, and you list them all in order, uh, then you can get ten points. But if you can't, it's all right; you still get your five points. So. Whenever the contestants are ready, raise your paddle, see who can get the question right. Mm -hmm. All right, Tim. Uh, his first excuse was that he was a, um inadequate speaker, that he was dis not respected by the people of Israel, that he was uh, ooh, that he was uh, not ready to go back to Egypt, th that he um, was not a man of, um, oh. well, I'm was, sorry you uh, uh, got a few wrong. I'm going to see if the other two contestants want to try to take that question. All right. Well, since uh, nobody got that question correct, we will uh, go back to Amos to see if we can pick another question. Hmm. Let's try another five point. Another five point question. <laughs> All right. What does Jehovah mean? 
All right, Timothy, what does Jehovah mean? God saves. Incorrect. I'm sorry. The other two want to try to take that question? This should be an easy one. All right, it means he is or I am. All right, Amos, you want to give us another question? Let's try three point. Three point question. Going back to the easy ones. <laughs> what does the Hebrew call the book of Exodus? Macy? The book of Moses. It is not the book of Moses. I'm sorry. Did the other two contestants want to try to take that question? All right, Amos, why don't you give us another question? <laughs> three point. A three point question. All right. Why was Moses hidden? Timothy? Uh, I assume this question is referring to the earlier days of Moses' life when the people of Israel were being killed by the Pharaoh in Egypt because the people in the land were becoming very many in number. Correct. That is correct. So, Timothy, you have three points, and Amos has three points. All right. So, Timothy, what would be your next question? Uh, let's go for a four-point question, please. A four-point question? All right. Who are Moses' parents? Macy. Amram and Jochebed. All right. Good job, Macy. Macy has four points, and Timothy and Amos have three points. Macy, what would be your next question? Um, another four point. Another four point question. All right. Why was the baby Moses, or why was the baby named Moses? All right. That was a close one. Who, I need to go to my judges for that one. All right. I heard from the judges that Amos had his paddle up first. Amos? Um, the baby was named Moses by Pharaoh's daughter. It means, for I drew him out of the water. Correct. Now that means Amos has uh, seven points, Macy has four points, and Timothy has three points. All right, Amos, what will be your next question? Let's try another four point. Another four point question. What is Mount Horeb or Mount Sinai called in Exodus 3 1? All right, Timothy. Uh, is it the Mount Hebron? Mount Hebron. It is, that is incorrect. Okay. You, I want to, the other contestants want to try to take that question. Well, the answer is Mountain of God. The answer is Mountain of God. All right, Amos? Let's what try three-point. Three-point question. What is the name of Moses' wife? Uh, I think Macy had that her hand up first. Zipporah. Zipporah. That is correct. All right. Macy, what will be the next question? Let's do a six-point question. A six-point question. List the 12 tribes of Israel. Amos? Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun, Joseph, Benjamin? Yes, that is the 12 children of Israel. That is correct. Thank you. All right, Amos, what will be your next question? Five point. A five point question. Who are Aaron's sons? Macy? Um, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar? And what was it? Ithamar? Yes, that is correct. So, um, Macy, what will be the next question? Uh, seven point. Seven point question. This one's a tough one. What are the three periods of Moses' life? Uh, Timothy? There was the first 40 years of his life that he spent in Egypt growing up. There was the second 40 years of his life which he spent in uh, the land with his uh, father-in-law who, or his later father-in-law being a shepherd and then there was uh, after he turned 80, the last 40 years of his life where he went back and actually uh, brought the people out of Israel. That is correct, Timothy. All right. Now, what would the next question be? Uh, let's go for a nine-point question. A nine-point question. What was the date of Exodus? All right, Timothy. Would it have been 
um, to around the 2000 BC. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Did the other two want to try to take that question? All right, it's approximately 14, uh, well, 1000, sorry, 1445 BC. Hmm. 1445 BC. All right, Timothy, what would the, or did Macy or Timothy get the last question right? I believe it was uh, Timothy. Timothy. Okay, t Timothy. Uh, let's go for an eight point question. An eight point question. What is ironic about God calling Moses in uh, three in Exodus three, nine and ten? All right, uh, Amos. Um, he was in the form of a bush that was burning, but the leaves weren't um, burning up. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Think about him right before he went into the wilderness, why it would be ironic. Or into, uh, into the land where he met his wife and Timothy. He was considered to be an oppressor because of his um, Egyptian adoption. I'm sorry, that is also incorrect. The reason why it would be ironic is because before, he, uh, before God, God called him there, 40 years prior, before he actually went to that land, he was willing to fight for the Hebrews and try to get them to uh, stop being oppressed. So that is why it would be uh, ironic. <laughs> All right. All right, Tim, what would be the next question? Uh, let's go for a seven-point question. A seven-point question. The book of Exodus, what is bondage described as? Is that Amos or Macy? All right, I heard from the judges that Amos was the one that had his paddle at first. Describes bondage as slavery. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Do you want to see who, if somebody can try to steal the question? Macy? Uh, their bondage was described as heavy. Sorry, that is not the word we are looking for. The word we are looking for is rigorous. Their bondage was described hmm. as rigorous. All right. Uh, Tim, what will be the next question? Let's go for a six-point question. Six-point question. What was located in Midian? Timothy? Midian would have been the place where uh, he met his, um, his wife and his father-in-law. And is that, is that what you're looking for? something else that's very significant. The well of Joseph? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Did the other two want to try to steal that question or take that question? No, it would have been Joseph. The answer is Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai is located in Midian. All right. Uh, what would the next question be? Uh, let's go for a five-point question. Five-point question. All right. This is another bonus question. So if you have, if you can answer these all in order, you get ten points. List the ten plagues and list them all in correct order from when they happen you can get 10 points out of this question. If not, just five points. Macy? Um, water to blood, uh, frogs, flies and gnats, uh, the disease on the cattle, locust, hail, darkness, death of the firstborn, and lice. You've already said lice. So I'll give you one more chance to try to get that last one. Think of the other two now. All right. Let's see if uh, any of the contestants want to try to steal. All right, Amos. The ten plagues. First was water to blood. Second was frogs. Third was gnats. Fourth was flies. Five was death of the Egyptian livestock. Sixth was boils. Seven was hail. Eight locusts nine darkness and ten death of the firstborn all right that means amos will get ten points all right um amos what will the next question be um, i'm feeling daring today let's try a ten point question a ten point <laughs> question all right these are the hardest questions we have who reigned in egypt at the time of the exodus amos was it ramses I think um, 
I think that actually might uh, – there was a one and two Ramses. Which one was that one? Hmm. You know if it was the first or second Ramses? The first. I'm sorry, it was not the first hmm. Ramsey. <laughs> and I guess by that you can tell that it was actually – <laughs> you can actually tell it was Ramsey's the second. Um, give us another question. Hmm. Let's try eight point. An eight point question. What three signs or miracles are given to Moses in order to encourage him to believe and ultimately to encourage others to believe him? Amos? Let's see. One sign was he would stick his hand into his cloak and it would become leprous. One sign was he would throw his staff onto the ground and it would become a snake. That's correct. Third sign was he would draw water from the Nile, throw it onto the ground and it would become blood. That is correct. Amos, you have eight points. Now, um, I'm going to go to our judges to, make, uh, to see how many points each contestant has. Macy has 12. Tim has 16. Amos has 25. So, um, and how many questions have been asked so far, Judge? 19 questions have been asked, and I think eight have only been answered, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> All right. So, Amos, what will be the next question? Let's go with a six point. A six point question. How much older was Aaron to Moses? Timothy? Three years. Three years is correct. So, Timothy, what will be the next question? Uh, let's go for another six point. What is significant about the rod of God in Exodus 4.20? Amos? It was the rod that Moses threw down to become a snake. That is correct. It's the rod which uh, he was given to, or the rod he had whenever he saw the uh, burning bush, and so that's the rod that was turned. He was able to turn into a snake. Mm -hmm. All right, Amos. What will be the next question? Let's try another ten point. Another ten point question. Who was the pharaoh of the oppressed at the time of Moses' birth? It's a different pharaoh than this. One. All right, Macy. The first Ramesses. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Let's see if anybody wants to try to steal that. All right, it was. Tutmos the third. Tutmos the third. All right. Amos, what will be the next question? Um, seven point. Seven point question. From whom did the Mid uh, Midianites descend? Remember, the Midianites are um, uh, the people that Moses met, and that's where his wife and his well, uh, people that his wife and his father-in-law are from. All right, Timothy. Would it have been the uh, children of Esau? Children of Esau, that is correct. So who is Esau's parents? So Esau's parents would have been uh, uh, J uh, Isaac, Isaac and his mother. Wait, well I then, Isaac and his I'm mother. sorry, that is actually incorrect. It would not be Esau. It would not be Esau. I apologize for that. All right. Let's see if anybody else wants to try to steal that. All right. It was actually Abraham and, um, and Ketra, Ketra. Sorry, Abraham and Ketra were where the Midianites descended from. All right, Amos, what would be the next question? Six point. Six point question. Now, this is the last six point question. According to Exodus 521, what was the, uh, what was Pharaoh's purpose to denying the request of uh, increasing uh, Israel's burden. What was Pharaoh's purpose in denying the request and increasing Israel's burden? All right, Amos. This is referring to Moses' request to go a three days journey into the wilderness to sacrifice. Um, the reason Pharaoh did not grant the request, he did not know the Lord said, who is the Lord? I don't know the Lord, so I won't let them go. And he increased Israel's burden because he thought the reason they wanted to sacrifice was because they weren't doing any work. They were idle. I am, uh, I'm sorry that was not the, uh, not 
what was specifically put in Exodus 5.21. That is ultimately correct because that is along lines with that, but uh, that is not the answer we are looking for. I'll see if anybody wants to try to take that question. All right. The answer was, uh, according to Exodus 5.21, the answer is to set them against Moses and Aaron. All right. Let's have the next question. Seven point. How many points? Seven. Seven point question. Why did God seek to kill Moses? All right, Macy. Because he had not circumcised his sons. That is correct. All right. So we'll have two more questions. And after these two more questions, we'll determine who the winner is and who is going on to round two. Uh, if I can get my judge to tell me how many, uh, how many points each contestant has. Macy, 19. Tim, 22. And Amos, 31. All right. So Macy can try to get the, net, the points that she needs, and she can surpass Tim. But as, as of right now, uh, Amos and Tim will go on to the second round. Macy, what uh, point question do would you like? Um, let's do an eight point. An eight point question. All right, what were the names of Moses' two sons? All right, it was Gershom and um, Ilzar. Gershom and Ilzar. All right, Macy, what would the next question be? Um, how about another eight point? Another eight point question. What is Pharaoh's response uh, to the first request of Moses? All right, Macy? Um, he made the burdens of the Israelites heavier and made it where they had to go gather their own materials to make bricks. That is correct. Macy, you got the eight points. All right. Macy, what would the next question be? Mm, let's go for seven point. Seven point question. How thick would the plague of locusts be upon the earth? Amos? Enough to where it darkened the skies and covered the land of Egypt. That is correct. All right. Judge, could you tell me how many points each person has? Macy, 27. Tim, 22. And Amos, 38. All right. I'm sorry, Timothy. That is... Uh, you uh, happen to not be able to get those questions right, and so you are unable to uh, continue on. It will be Macy and Amos on to the next round. Macy and Amos. All right, we are going to our commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have the last, two, uh, the last round of uh, GBM Bible Trivia. Gospel Broadcasting Network offers a free non-denominational Bible course. It's based strictly on God's Word and not the creeds or traditions of men. Why not contact us for lesson number one? Hallelujah, the glory. Hallelujah. You may want to enroll by email. The address is info at gbntv.org. To enroll by phone, call us toll free at 888-805-3390. Welcome back to round two of GBN Bible Trivia where the questions come from the Bible, and so do the answers. So for this round, each, point will be, or each question will be worth five points. And the contestants, all they have to do is, after I, write, uh, after I ask the question, write the question correctly on the board. If um, both of them get it correct, they both get five points. If one gets it correct and the other one does not, then they, that one person gets five points. And if the, neither of them get it uh, correct, then they don't get any points. So let's have the first question. From what tribe do all priests come from? From what tribe do all priests come from? You have 10 seconds to answer this question. And it looks like both contestants are done, so we'll go ahead. Levi is correct. So both contestants will get five points. Question number two. What was the name of Moses' older sister? What was the name of Moses' older sister? All right, both contestants are done. Let's see your answer. Miriam is correct. So the contestants will get five points again. This is unfortunate for Macy because she is actually, uh, does not have as many points as Amos does. So, because the 
points from last round. We'll continue on to this round to see who will uh, be the uh, ultimate champion of today's GB and Pavel trivia. So the third question, where did the Israelites dwell? Where did the Israelites dwell? You have 10 seconds to answer this question. All right, let's see your answers. Well, looks like Macy misspelled it, but I think <laughs> I understand what she was trying to say, so both contestants will get five points. Good job, Amos. The fourth question. The fourth question. What was the symbol used to represent Christ in the Passover? What was the symbol used to represent Christ in the Passover? You have ten seconds. All right, let us, let's see y'all's answer. Lamb and lamb, that is correct. All right, now the last one is the toughest one we have. Before crossing the Red Sea, what specifically was murmured by the children of Israel? In Exodus 14, 11. Before crossing the Red Sea, what was specifically murmured by the children of Israel? In Exodus 14, 11. We have 10 seconds. I'm going to give them just a few more seconds to try to write this down because it is a little bit longer. All right. Let's see your answers. There were no graves in Egypt from Amos and complaints against Moses. Yes, there were complaints against Moses, but we were looking for specifically... And so Amos got that one right, and Amos will be our winner of GBM Bible Trivia. <laughs> Amos will actually have an opportunity to come on to, next, uh, to the next GBM Bible Trivia to see if he can test his wits, his Bible knowledge, against two new contestants. And um, we want to remind everybody to, uh, try, to give a, uh, try to send in if you want a Bible correspondence course, so that way you could possibly gain as much knowledge as our contestants have here to see if you can maybe try your wits against uh, other Bible knowledge people and see if you can win GBN Bible Trivia. Thank you and everybody have a nice day. GBN Bible Jesus Trivia. Savior, sanctified forever.